Today, I'm really delighted to be chatting to Graham Dallas and Matthew Lasky. Uh, Graham is the Vice Chair of SPE Aberdeen section and Matthew is the new Chair for the IMECI in Scotland. Uh, hello to you both, how are you? Morning. Hello, how are you? Good, thank you. Thank you. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about the conference that is a joint SPE IMECI conference. Um, can you maybe tell me what your role on the committee is, um, starting with you, Graham? Yes, certainly. Um, until um, very recently, I was also uh, chair of the continuing education for SPE Aberdeen. So our remit is to organise and uh, put on a programme of exhibitions and conferences. And it's, it's to fit in with the SPE's remit of uh, technical exchange and networking. So the joint SPE and IMEC uh, event, this one, is our second time we've done this together. And I tend to sit in in most of the meetings. I'm not necessarily the most technically competent at this specific uh, topic, but it's it's always good to, to sit in and, and contribute where I can. Cool, and Matthew? Yeah, so as you mentioned, I'm uh, chair for the Scottish Region Institution of Mechanical Engineers, and I'm also on the, obviously on the committee um, as the past chair of the Aberdeen region. And I think that you know, our, our involvement in this is that we want to bring something more for the engineering um, members in the Aberdeen region. So what we're trying to do is provide something a little bit different to our normal presentations for what we provide and teaming up with SPE to make this conference um, something different for, for the area. Okay. And Matthew, can you maybe explain a little bit about the background to this event? How did it come about? Yeah, absolutely. Um, as I said, we, you know, for years now, uh, we've been doing presentations, monthly presentations in the area. Um, like a lot of the, re uh, the different groups like SPE also do, um, they're, they're pretty successful and they're really good educational formats. Um, gives people the opportunity to come out and see different uh, topics monthly. But what we wanted to do is, you know, sort of build on that, um, build on that membership engagement and try to offer something a little bit different. So we've been seeing how successful the Society of Petroleum Engineers in Aberdeen have been running conferences and some of the larger scale events. So we thought it was a good opportunity for us to work with SPE and um, deliver something that both of our groups um, would benefit from using the knowledge and the experience from the SPE, but also using the, the technical experience from our membership group to do a, a conference that was a little bit different to some of the normal offerings. So it grew from there into something um, our first offering of a cold joints. So it was um, non-welded connections is the first one we did. Uh, so, you know, that was pretty successful. I think it, it went probably better than I even expected and the feedback was excellent. So we decided to do a, a second slightly modified version uh, for, for the next year, which was going to be this year. Excellent. And, and Graham, the, the event's now been postponed until the 3rd of March due to the current situation with COVID-19. Yes, it's been rescheduled for 3rd of March. Obviously, um, there's been significant change to everyone's life over the last three, four months. Um, we're, we're trying our hardest to uh, keep engaged with all of our members and, and all of the IMEC e members as well. We opted to move the, um, the event well clear, so we put it into quarter one next year. Um, but we're not going to be silent from now until March. We're going to uh, keep the uh, engagement going. We hope to put on a series of webinars just to keep the conversation going and to keep everyone involved. It's been a, a bit of a trying period the last few months. As I said, uh, my remit, we actually hold around eight or ten uh, conferences a year and most of them have had some impact due to COVID-19. Um, but it's an ongoing thing. It's, it's pretty fluid at the moment. The um, the lockdown appears to be getting to ease and let's hope it continues in that direction and I'm really looking forward to March and uh, getting in a room with like-minded individuals and discussing some uh, some topics. Brilliant and um, can you tell me why why should people get involved why should people come along to this event what can you expand on that? Uh, Matthew? Uh, yes yeah yeah no problem um as Graham said that you know it's been postponed because of things that are happening and we're, we would prefer to run it face to face so over the coming months um, we're going to be posting lots of clips and videos from some of the companies who are going to be um, presenting at the conference and also um, advertising their products and things 
So that'll be a good indication of the sorts of information that you'll be able to get. But it's a technical conference based on hot and cold um, joints, um, connections. So last year, as I said, we did cold um, non-welded connections. So it was a very specific niche market. And we had some really good case studies, some really good um, industry bodies and things like that talking about um, fit for purpose and how it's going to work. So this year, what we've done is expanded to hot and cold. So it's going to cover um, how do we assure that it's fit for purpose for that worth of welded and non-welded. Um, again, it's going to include lots of case studies, learnings from other industries, um, some real practical examples so that you can start thinking about your own organisation, how it's going to work. How do you assess and justify the design of those connections? Um, NDT methods, how do we, you know, again, make it sure that it's fit for purpose and it's going to last for the amount of the lifetime or the life cycle that it's going to have to last for? And then assessing the suitability of materials and connections and things. So it's a technical program, a technical conference, but it's going to be quite a wide range of topics within that, um, that, that remit of hot and cold connections. Um, so learning for your industry, I suppose, is the, is the main purpose. Take away what other people are doing and be able to put it back into your business or organisation so that it can help you. Oh, that sounds brilliant. And um, are, is the bookings now open for this event, Graham? Yes, the bookings are available. You can have a look on the SP Aberdeen or the IMECI, uh, I believe, it North of Scotland page. Um, and they have all the information there. We have an early bird rate running at the moment, so there's an opportunity to get a, a reduced rate to attend. And as I say, we're going to uh, keep continuing with some information on social media and we'll have some webinars and clips as Matthew said uh, just to, to keep the conversation going. Oh, that's brilliant well guys thank you so much really appreciate, appreciate you taking the time to chat to me today and uh, yeah thank you we'll be looking forward to the conference in March. Thank you. Thanks to I'm looking forward to for the networking part of the for the conference as well it'll be nice to, to get back and start speaking to some people face to face and all the breaks and, and lunch breaks and things. So just to have a coffee with someone It'd be great. Yeah, yeah real one. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank, Thank you. you so much and we'll see you soon. Yep. Thank you. Thanks. Bye Ron.